Okay, I, um, I thought our, our effort was tremendous. Um, you know, Dayton's a heck of a team with, with great length, great size. Um, you know, it's, it, could, it took us a couple minutes to really um, figure out their speed, get comfortable with their speed. Um, initially, you know, they were hurting us on the backboard. Um, they were getting to the paint easily. They had us on a string. Um, but I thought our guys really, in the last 10 minutes of the first half, started really defending. We executed really well. We got the ball inside to Chad, and Chad did a really good job. Uh, we hit some big shots. Um, we had 10 assists in the first half on 13 field goals, so we were shielding the basketball. And in the second half, you know, we got off to a tough start, um, but we found a way. We had a great crowd. Um, the crowd really, really supported us, and without them, we probably wouldn't be sitting here as, as victors. Um, but I thought we competed. That, that was the biggest thing. You know, hold those, that team to below 40% field goal percentage and 20% from threes. Um, that's a heck of an effort by our guys. Um, we played with grit. Um, I'm just proud of our, proud of our effort. Mark, have you figured this team out yet? <laughs> Four of six, you lose. Uh -huh. Kind of a tough stretch. Uh -huh. you get, then you get your three biggest wins of the year. Yeah, I, I think we, you know, we got a young team um, in terms of age, and we got a young team in terms of experience here at Bonaventure. Um, but I think we're getting better. I think we're learning. I, I thought you know, going on the road and, and winning those two games mm -hmm. I think gave our guys confidence and, and showed them if they do the, play the game the right way um, and they executed that they can win. Um, and, you know, it, it carried over to tonight. Um, you know, just like I said, you know, we're getting better. We're not where we need to be. Um, you know, we want to be playing our best basketball in, you know, late February, early March. But we're, we're going in that direction. Um, we can't get satisfied and comfortable. We're going to, you know, going to be in the gym tomorrow working on our game. Um, but it's getting better. Coach, to get Kamara and Anselm fouled somewhere there early on. That really helped. That? Yeah, you know, th those guys are, you know, Kamara's, you know, whatever, he had 21 in 17 or, you know, excuse me, 12, he had 17, seven offensive rebounds. You know, those are the two, two of the better big guys, if not the best big guys in our league. Um, you know, in, in terms of, you know, a combination, four or five, they're, they're the best. Um, but, you know, foul trouble helped. Um, but I, I thought we, we competed. You know, it's, those guys are more athletic, and they're a little bit bigger than us. Um, but I thought we competed, and, um, you know, they didn't dominate, dominate us in that. You know, and I thought Chad really held his, held his own. You know, he's, he demanded the double team at times. Um, he scored inside when we needed to. He, he played that blue-collar stuff, that, you know, style of play that we need inside. So just holding them to four threes, to how Yeah, it's three. really important. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job, you know, in the post. Um, you know, doubling them from different angles, and, and um, we did a good job of rotating. Now they missed some shots, um, but I thought we had some good rotation, especially as the game went along. Early on, we did, our rotations were slow, um, but I thought we got better. Um, and we just, you know, we, we mucked it up a little bit, you know, loose balls, and, you know, they missed some stuff. And, um, but I, I thought overall our, our effort was, was extremely good. Uh, Chad, uh, this is for you. Um, how do you think you handled uh, Deron Holmes? I just go everything like just try to give it my all, you know. Coach said the blue collar stuff. I was just trying to do my best out there as much as I can. Chad, your progression over the last year, though, has been been well documented. But have a game like that, just how fulfilling is it? It feels really great, especially with the win that we all have. From either of you guys, I mean, you, you can see the, the the growth that has taken place from you know when you lose to that Richmond trip. <coughs> I mean, it's just, we're just connected, you know. Uh, we, we're all just locked in, especially, I remember we had a, a team meeting right before the um, VCU game, and we just talked about everything and what we felt we needed to do. And then we just, we knew everybody was locked in since then. And ever since that meeting, everything's been rolling. So just trying to stay locked in. And for both of you, just trying to <coughs> get out, feed off of the crowd tonight. Um, the Riley Center was amazing. Like, it's nothing like I've ever seen. And in that capacity, it just, you feed off of it. Mm -hmm. You feed off of it. The energy, yeah. The crowd, the crowd gets us going, you know? Like, when you hit a three and you just hear the crowd, like, just roar, like, it just makes you feel good. And then the energy and then your team, we all looking at each other, good shot, good shot. 
and it's like when you look at your brothers and, and they have your back, it just makes you, it just feel, you just feel stronger and better. So you feel good. Mark, what's the favorite thing about the way you guys are playing right now? Our effort. Keep it going. Our effort. Um, I, I think you know we're really competing. Um, we're defending. Um, you know, and we've done a good job um, executing for the most part. You know, we screw up sometimes, but I, I thought we did, we've done a good job in the last three games of, of getting the ball inside to Chad. Um, Chad's done a good job of, of, of finishing and kicking the ball out. Um, but I think you know, we've won these games, you know, we've probably averaged now at 68, we've probably averaged whatever, 63 points in the victories. You know, so it's not our offense that's winning games, um, it's our defense. And, um, you know, we're getting to the line a little bit more than we have been. Um, but it, it's, it's our defense, and um, you know you win the defense, and we're not a, we're, we're not going to be a great offensive team. Um, you know we, we try to control tempo as much as we can, um, but it, it's it's defensive. And, you know to hold these guys, um, you know the four four for twenty from threes um, is, is a, a credit to our guys. Coach, how about Daryl Banks? He started off struggling a little bit, got uh -huh. most of his points from the free throw line, but uh -huh. still had a really good game. Yeah, five, five assists, one turnover, um, made his foul shots. You know, he doesn't let his, his shooting affect other parts of his game. Uh, it gives our guys confidence, and um, he's a really good player, and, you know, we, we need him, you know, playing the way he's capable of playing. And, you know, his, 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 his shot will come back. Um, I always say jump shooting is fickle, um, but the overall game is, is there. For the players, just was there anything specifically that happened after Fordham that kind of put you guys in position to get in the next three? I mean, just going back to that that team meeting we had, it's just we just knew we had to be our brother's keeper and just have each other's back. Like that was just like the main thing about, especially that meeting. Just we're all here together, you know. We, we're brothers. We're we're together on and off the court. You know, our connectivity is there and our camaraderie is there, and it's just you know just having your brother's back. On yeah. defense or in, in offense, yeah. Yeah, our motto is, you know, stay connected, you know, even on and off the court. Try to stay connected as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And Fordham's good. <laughs> <laughs>